If you've been following my page here on YouTube, YouTube, you know that I've been working on a project where I've been trying to teach my Arduino how to copy Morse code. And um, the latest stages of the project has been to build a tone decoder board. It, it's got a chip on there that will uh, detect a specific tone. When it hears it, it sends a signal over to the Arduino that the Arduino can copy. Here's a schematic of what I'm doing uh, right there. We'll let the computer focus here for a second, or the camera focus. And it's a simple circuit with an IC and um, three capacitors and a couple LEDs. Not too complicated. And I've built up that circuit right here on the board. Well, since you saw the last video, something new has been added. Just yesterday in the mail, I received from Adafruit these little microphone kits. Uh, it's a little microphone and a preamplifier all built on one little tiny board. It's very small. And on the back you'll see surface mount um, components. It's got an audio level adjustment and there's a little tiny IC in there that's an op amp amplifier. Um, and this little board right here is going to be our audio input so we don't have to run wires uh, from our, our radio over to uh, the tone decoder. I had uh, soldered these pins on um, on my microphone and I took um, the original board here and I added a header to the back of it there so that I could simply plug that little uh, breakout board on top. It sort of floats above the IC chip there and it's all ready to go. Um, I'm going to hang this thing right on uh, the front of our speaker here. I found that uh, it works much better uh, when the um, the two are really close together then I don't have to have the um, the sound real loud which drives other members of my family really crazy when they wonder why I'm making so much noise back here in the ham shack. Um, I'm running software over here on the computer that I found and I've been uh, using. It's uh, very helpful. Um, AA7 or AA9 rather PW has a page of uh, Morse code practice and it's uh, it's on the internet where you can use it and you can get it and you can copy uh, code and practice your code you can adjust the speed I have the code set right now for 30 words a minute and uh, that that will generate code for us it'll come out the speaker the little microphone will hear it it'll go through the tone decoder if the tone uh, when the tone hears the right frequency it's set right now for a thousand hertz that will send a signal down to the Arduino. The software in the Arduino decodes that signal into characters and displays it over here on a 20 by 4 column LCD display. Um, it's, uh, let's give it a try. Um, when the code starts, uh, he, he begins by sending the letter V over and over again. The code in my Arduino that I wrote looks for the DAW to determine the speed. The letter V is di di da There's three dits and then a DAW. So the first few letters won't copy correctly. Arduino needs to get a couple DAWs under its belt before it homes in on the speed. And then the copy you'll see down here will be nearly perfect. So let's give it a try. See what we get. You'll be able to hear it and you'll be able to see it on the screen. I'll pan over to the uh, speaker here. You can see the LED uh, blinking right along with the code there. You can see it through the holes in the perf board. And down here, we're getting nice solid copy at 30 words a minute.
This is coming acoustically from the speaker to the microphone. I still have a bit of a rat's nest over here on my um, uh, breadboard. This section of the board that you see over here on the, uh, the right-hand side is all uh, leftovers from earlier part of the project, stuff that I'm not even using. Um, all of uh, that we need is this part right here. We'll work on a way to clean that up and, and uh, get these two things connected together a little better. There it is. Hope you enjoy the project so far.